a month ago, I made a video showing how to update any DLSS game to DLSS 4 and the new Transformer model. Uh, in that video, we used the DLSS in-game indicator to make sure that the results we were seeing were accurate to the settings we were changing. Um, I'll show you now in this one just quickly how to get up that DLSS in-game indicator using the registry. You can also use the third-party application, DLSS Swapper. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but we'll primarily focus on the registry tweak as I know a lot of people don't like using third-party applications. So you can see that I have Dead Space uh, open on my screen running at the moment, and there is no indicator as to what version or preset um, or resolution change is happening from DLSS. So in order to see this, you wanna first open up your registry editor, uh, right-click it, go run as admin, select yes if you see a UAC prompt, you will then want to browse to this path here that I have at the top. Now I'll put this uh, in the video description so you should just be able to copy and paste it into your registry editor to browse to this path um, or at least follow the path manually by navigating on the left here. Now there's a key missing in here that we need. So we're going to right click it, we're going to go new and we're going to select DWORD 32-bit value. Now the name of the key is going to be show DLSS indicator as one word and then we're going to right click it and we're going to go modify now zero is off uh, if you're using hexadecimal you want to set it to 400 for on uh, if you click and use decimal it'll be 1024 and then you just click ok and that is it now i'm going to close and reopen dead space and we'll see the dlss indicator appear now, while we wait for Dead Space to relaunch, I'll show you how you don't have to open the registry editor every single time you want to make the change or if you want to turn on off um, the in-game DLSS information. So let's reopen uh, Dead Space. And then while that's launching, with my registry editor here, we're going to... Can I move the Dead Space window? Let me move it. There we go. So in the registry editor window here, we're going to click on file and we're going to click export and now we're just going to select my desktop as an example and I'm just going to say dlss underscore enable and go save and you'll see on my desktop I now have a registry file that is shown up here called dlss enable dot reg and I know I'm going to call it enable because I have the dlss indicator values set to enable here if you right click it and you go edit it in notepad I'll bring it across from my other screen. You'll see what it's actually doing. It's applying these values. So it's just taken a copy of the values that are present here, these three keys, and it's basically just saying apply these. Right? So we can close out of that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go show DLSS indicator. I'm going to go modify. I'm going to change it to zero. Click apply, which is off. I'm going to do the exact same steps. Click file. Click export desktop again and we're just going to call this one dls uh, disable and save and there we go we now have a disable and an enable two different registry files so if i click enable again and you'll be able to see show dlss indicator will swap from zero back to 400 so if i double click it that not me yes my uac is on the other screen so yep okay yep applied and there you go show dlss indicator is just updated to now saying 400. So that's how you do it. You never need to open your registry again. I've now just got two desktop icons that I can just click to enable or disable the in-game um, appearance of it. So now if we jump back into Dead Space, we can see that, yep, with that registry tweak, I can now see the render preset is set to preset K and the DLSS uh, version is using the latest DLL file. Um, again, I have a video from uh, a month ago where he went through and I showed you how to do that one. So I'll put a link to that below as well if you want to find out how to update your DLSS games to DLSS 4. Um, lastly, we'll go off and I'll show you how... Actually, you know what? I'll open RegEdit again. And I'll show you how to update um, using DLSS Swapper. So I've already got it open down here. So this is DLSS Swapper. If you come down to the bottom left where the settings wheel is, 
You just want to press that and then you'll see DLSS developer options. And you want to go show on screen indicator and you can go none or enable for all DLLs. Debugging is for the debugging DLLs only. So you probably won't see it if you turn that on. Um, it's already set to enabled for me because it reads this path and this location. So it can already tell that I've got that set um, to on. So it's already set to on for me. But if I do swap this to none and click yes, and then I refresh my registry editor, which is under view and then refresh, you can see it just updates and goes back to zero. So hope that makes sense, but it's very, um, very straightforward. If you're using DLSS Swapper, it's literally just a, a drop down box to enable and disable it um, to get it to toggle between the two. But if you would prefer not to use DLSS Swapper or have another program installed, then you can just do it through the registry and then make your own shortcuts for enabling and disabling it. Um, the last thing I will mention is that you do need to relaunch the game. You've probably noticed that as I've been changing the value of the registry key, it doesn't update in real time. It's because when you launch your app, that's when it reads the value of the registry key. It doesn't do it during the app while it's running. So if you have it enabled, you would do it just to test to make sure that the preset you want is in use and that the version is in use. Then you would close your game, disable the, not uh, disable the registry key or turn it off in DLSS Swapper, relaunch your game so you don't see it there all the time. Anyways, um, I think that's everything. Hopefully you learned something new and see you in the next one.